All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Cosmos. Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, my friends, we are going to be looking at the top five forgotten weapons in Call of Duty Zombies. So this is, can be from any Call of Duty Zombies map, any single Call of Duty that features a Zombies mode. And we're going to be going through the top five forgotten weapons. So these are weapons that we are not sure of. Maybe if you are a new fan, you wouldn't know these weapons, but these weapons are usually pretty good. There is two on this list that are not not very good at all but yeah we're gonna start off with the number five spot and in our number five spot I'm not sure if a lot of you guys will know this, but a lot of you guys may know this, and this is the Jet Gun from Transit. So, if you guys do not know about this gun, this gun was back in Transit, probably the worst map ever created, and what actually happened is you took for absolutely forever to build, and it was just a bad gun overall, and that's why people kind of forgot about it, they just didn't really, no one really talked about it, no one really said how good it was, but a lot of people do say how bad it is. So, that is a very forgotten gun that not many people know know of because not many people play transit and not many people have been around since the start of black ops 2 there has been a lot but there's still been a lot of new people that have came during black ops 3 so our next weapon we have here is i'm pretty sure most of you guys will not know this if you have played them at buried then you will know this but this my friends is the remington new model army so this is basically like a revolver gun. It's a really, really cool gun. So, if you play Overwatch and you know McCree, it's kind of like that. It's a really cool gun, and it does a fair bit of damage. It's, um, it's an overall really good gun. Really good in Buried as well. It really fits the map as it is like a Western-type map. It's very good that Treyarch did go on to put that in the Buried map. And I think it's just a really good gun that not a lot of people know about. So, if you do have the map Buried, go ahead and try and get this revolver pistol. And and try and test it out and see what you think of it because in my opinion it is a very good gun and definitely probably even one of my favorite guns in buried i really like how they introduced that gun and i think it's a really good really good gun that not many people are sure about so in our number three spot my friends i'm not sure if you got a lot of, guy, a lot of you guys would know about this but this was a gun back in the moon days so back in the black ops one days and um this gun if you guys do not know it's called the wave gun it's, this gun is a very good gun as i said before it's from the map moon back in black ops one i've actually been around since black ops one and dude i used to be playing i think my first map was i used to play kino on the wii but anyway, I digress. Uh, we are back with the wave gun, and this gun is very good. You can switch it into two different modes, so a dual pistol mode and a single mode, and they're really cool. So one of the modes actually basically just cooks the zombies like a microwave. And I remember seeing the trailer for Moon, and it was absolutely creepy. They had this zombie inside of this cage, and then uh, it, was, it was creepy, dude. But anyway, um, this gun is very good and very forgotten, seeing as though not many people were back around in the Moon days. But yeah, this is a very good gun that um, is pretty, pretty cool, dude. It's a dual wield gun that you can swap into single mode. So yeah, that, my friends, is our number three spot. And coming into our number two spot is a gun that I don't think a lot of you guys know about from a map that people don't usually play a lot and people don't usually like but I really like this map and the reason why don't, people don't really like this map is because of the boss and the boss is just really annoying but right here we have the VR11 my friends if you guys do not know what this gun is it's a really really weird gun I'm not really sure what to think about it but what this gun does is it doesn't really have a really good use. What it does is it's not very good, but what it does is it goes and if you shoot it at a zombie, it um, makes them human and the human just goes and runs away like crazy. It's a really weird gun and yeah, so if you just shoot it at a zombie, they turn human. It's not very good and not really a lot of you guys really notice. No, I don't really know this gun at all. When I play uh, Call of the Dead, which I don't really play too much, I don't really use this gun. If I get it out of the box, I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'll just drop it back in again. Because there's two wonder weapons in Call of the Dead. And I reckon if before this video I told you guys which two wonder weapons are in Call of the Dead, you wouldn't know either of them. So, that VR11 right there, very, not very good gun. Very, very, very uh, ish, 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 but not many people like it, and that is why that's in our number two spot. Anyway, my friends, our number one spot is the Scavenger Wonder Weapon from the map Call of the Dead. So just like our previous spot, the VR11, this gun is absolutely amazing in my opinion, guys. This is called the Scavenger. I bet you, just before this video, if I asked you, you would not know what the hell the Scavenger is. You wouldn't know if it was a Wonder Weapon, but basically this gun was kind of like a 
Sniper, and it was actually a very, very good gun. Really good at killing the boss in Call of the Dead, and it's just an overall amazing gun. So basically, it's kind of like a crossbow, but it is explosive. And seems though this map actually has PhD, it just makes it a whole, a whole bunch better. But this is really good at call, uh, killing George Romero, and you should be able to kill him within like probably like the whole ammo of the gun, which is pretty good, because if you guys don't know, George Romero is the boss in Call of the Dead, and he is very, very hard to kill, and yeah, so this is absolutely amazing, this gun, and I really think that it should get more attention, because it is a very good gun. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did go on to this video. If you did, go leave it a thumbs up, and if you have not subscribed yet, go on and do that as well, but anyway, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.